Washington is the latest state to consider labeling genetically modified food, but the initiative faces strong opposition from multinational corporations Monsanto and Dupont, who have announced plans to spend millions to defeat it. Last week, an event sponsored by Yes Magazine brought together two dozen organizations committed to local organic farming at Seattle's town hall. FSRN's Mark Taylor Canfield was there to interview Dr. Vandana Shiva about Washington's initiative on labeling GMO food and the global movement for sustainable farming. In Washington state, we have Initiative 522. There's a signature gathering campaign to put that on the ballot here to label genetically modified organisms. Monsanto, DuPont, and other large corporations have put $10 million into a campaign to stop it. Do you have any comments about how things have changed since you were here during the World Trade Organization demonstrations in 1999 in terms of the world's attitude about GMOs? And are there some successes that you can point to that have helped farmers and consumers through education about these issues? You know, we were here to stop WTO because WTO was the platform from where corporations like Monsanto pushed, on the one hand, the ownership over life and seed through the intellectual property rights agreement, and Monsanto's representatives are on record saying, in physician all in one, we crafted this treaty and handed it over to the U.S. government to impose it on the rest of the world with one single purpose, stop the farmers from saving seeds. But the second was, in the name of free trade, to prevent communities, citizens, governments from making food choices. So in 2003, I remember, uh, the U.S. sued Europe, which is largely GMO-free. Fifty regions of Europe are officially GMO-free countries. And it's all because of citizens' demand. As soon as the U.S. brought the case, we immediately launched a citizens' campaign worldwide because we don't think GMOs are an issue of Washington state when there's a labeling issue here or an Indian issue when there's a discussion on the BT aubergine moratorium. It's an issue everywhere because GMOs are the mechanism of controlling the food system. It has changed since the time of Seattle is one we were marching against WTO then. Now people march against Monsanto. And there's going to be another march on the 12th of October. Uh, these companies are being reduced to the use of coercive power, threats, and money. So in fact, they are so deeply exposed in the way they're having to detract democracy. I would say that the Washington vote uh, is an expression of the Supreme Court decision of Citizen United. These corporations have got used to spending money to rob people of their rights and their freedoms. Money shapes politics. Um, unfortunately, some institutions of this country think the same way. And I hope every step of bullying, buying, coercive power by Monsanto and the other biotech industry, and we are talking about just five players, uh, that every step becomes an education. Ultimately, the GMO question is about democracy. Can you talk a little bit about the March on Monsanto that's coming up and the other events surrounding seed issues? What do you see as the most significant challenge we face as a planet when it comes to the future of food? The most significant challenge we face and the planet faces in terms of the future of food is already 75% and more of the planet's resources have been devastated by a food system that's only providing about 25% of the food to people. The rest is coming from small farms that are not industrial farms. 75% uh, water is being abused by an industrial agriculture, 75% soils have been degraded by industrial agriculture, 75% and more of species destruction has taken place because of industrial agriculture. And book Soil Not Oil um, shows 40% of the greenhouse gases that are devastating the planet come from industrial agriculture. Now, if this was to expand, which is what the industry would like, at best they can expand to 3% of the food system, but meantime they'll destroy the planet, which means there will be no food anyway. So we are talking of an absolute extinction for the human species. That's what we're facing. If these corporations are allowed a free play. 
That is why citizens must exercise their freedom. And the seed freedom campaign that Navdanya has been building over the last few years, now as a global movement, initially largely in India for the last first 20 years, uh, 25 years, we focused on India. Uh, but the seed freedom movement is really about reclaiming seed freedom and we focus every year in a fortnight of action largely to concentrate our energies to act together and the fortnight is from 2nd of October which is Gandhi's birth anniversary a vital day to remember that we will never have freedom in the area of food till we do what Gandhi did till we do what the civil rights movement of this country did recognize unjust law and make a commitment to not obey it that is the fight for truth, the Satyagraha. October is the second march against Monsanto, and the beautiful thing about it is it's totally self-organized. Anyone can organize a march where they are. 16th of October, very significant, it's World Food Day. Monsanto will be giving itself the World Food Prize. They're on the sponsorship of the prize, and they're giving it to themselves to rescue their image. It's time to recognize our local food heroes. Every small farmer, market gardener, a little chef who started a healthy cafeteria, a school which started a school garden, mothers and grandmothers and fathers who make a commitment and take the time to cook good food. So we are inviting people to identify their local food heroes, uh, recognize them and honor them. And they can send the names to IAN info at seedfreedom.in, which is the Seed Camp Freedom Campaign's website. And for any further information on this, that's the website they should visit. That's Dr. Vandana Shiva speaking with FSRN's Mark Taylor Canfield about genetically modified crops, the power of small-scale farming, and a measure to label food in Washington state.